Well, as we heard in that Colin Campbell report, international media attention has focused on Grenada following the disappearance of Lena Avenio on Sunday. As is expected, interest is high in her home country, Canada, and as such, we have online with us Kayla Hounsel, a reporter for the CTV News in Canada. She reached out to us today for information on the case. Good evening, Kayla. It's good to have with you with us on GBN News. News. Good evening, it's glad to be with you. And how are Canadians responding to the news? Well, you know, I think this is a significant story here. I think that Canadians will see this as a woman uh, who is living with her family in uh, what we would consider a tropical paradise, and now something has happened to her, she is missing, and so there's there's interest in the, the mystery, if you will, that surrounds that, but certainly a lot of concern for her well-being. As her family, you know, tells us that this, of course, is out of character for them to not hear from her for this uh, length of time. As you know, Canada is a very large country, yes. but uh, Linnea Vino has ties to several provinces and really coast to coast. Um, I am in Nova Scotia, in the capital of Nova Scotia, Halifax. This is a province that she considers her home, but the neighboring province, New Brunswick, is where her parents live. Her father is a minister at the Lutheran Church there, so certainly known in the community. And her sister lives in Vancouver, on the west coast of the country. So, you know, a lot of Canadians will have interest in this story and will hope to see it have a positive outcome. I can imagine, as you've indicated, the family, that there is quite a bit of uh, action in terms of, well, the interest and taking an interest in the search in general. But are you aware of any offer by Canadian law enforcement or perhaps other organizations to the Grenada police? Not at this point. I reached out to the Royal Canadian Mounted Police today to ask that very question, and they say that they have not been contacted by the Grenada Police, uh, but they are aware of uh, Linnea Vino's disappearance, and they're on standby at this point, willing to assist if they get that call from Grenada Police. And just a bit of uh, background on Linnea herself. Yes, well, as I say, she has ties to uh, several Canadian provinces. She has a home which is considered her primary residence just outside of our capital, Halifax, about a 30-kilometer drive. She's described as a very, very intelligent woman. She actually has five university degrees, uh, her bachelor, her master, a PhD, and two postdoctorate degrees from three separate Canadian universities, again, reaching coast to coast. Um, her best friend, who I spoke with today here in Nova Scotia, says she's very rational, intelligent, a strong person, and she says if there's anybody who can remain calm and think clearly in a difficult situation, it would be Linnea Vino. Kayla Hounsel, thank you so much for having joined us on the GBN TV News, and of course, as we get more developments, I'm hoping that we'll hear from you at a future time. Thank you. Take care.